Hello, my name is Jerry Ratka, and I'm a course developer in Juniper Network's Education Services Department. In this learning bite, we'll take a look at configuring aggregated Ethernet interfaces. Link aggregation, defined in IEEE 802.3 AD, enables you to group Ethernet interfaces to form a single link layer interface, also known as a LAG, Link Aggregation Group, or a bundle. Aggregating multiple links between physical interfaces creates a single logical point-to-point -point trunk link, essentially combining several smaller connections into one larger connection. The lag balances traffic across the member links within an aggregated Ethernet bundle and effectively increases the uplink bandwidth. Another advantage of link aggregation is increased availability because the lag is composed of multiple member links. So if one of the member links fails, the lag continues to carry traffic over the remaining links. Link Aggregation Control Protocol, LACP, although not mandatory, provides additional functionality for lags, such as link monitoring. When LACP is configured, it detects misconfigurations on the local end or the remote end of the link, so LACP can help to prevent communication failure. When configuring lags, the following guidelines should be considered. The lag must be configured on both sides of the link. The interfaces on either side of the link must be set to the same speed. You can configure and apply firewall filters on a lag. And LACP can optionally be configured for link negotiation. Configuring links to be part of aggregated Ethernet interfaces requires essentially three steps. First, you create the aggregated Ethernet interfaces. Second, you must configure the device to associate a set of interfaces with the aggregated Ethernet interface. And third, you must configure the aggregated Ethernet interface itself. I should also mention the number of interfaces that can be grouped into a lag and the total number of lags supported on a device varies amongst different devices and different models. So be sure to check the latest documentation for those specs. Now let's actually perform these steps on an EX switch. Okay, now remember, you must configure both sides of the link when, uh, when creating a lag. So I've already gone ahead and configured uh, one switch, and then we'll go ahead and configure the other switch now. So on the first switch, let's run the uh, show interfaces terse command, looking to see if it has any uh, aggregated Ethernet interfaces on it. And you can see it has an aggregated Ethernet interface on it, as denoted by the AE0 designation but that link is currently down and this is because we also need to configure the other side of the link which in our case for our demo is going to be on another switch so let's go over to the other switch and let's run that same command there and we'll see if we have any aggregated ethernet interfaces on this switch which the output shows us that we don't have anything set up here yet so let's go ahead and configure this end of the lag you tell the Junos operating system to create aggregated Ethernet interfaces and allocate resources for them by setting the Ethernet device count parameter. So we're at the top of configuration mode, so let's run this command. Set chassis, aggregated devices, Ethernet, and the device count will be 1. Okay, so this will create one aggregated Ethernet interface. So let's go ahead and commit this and then we'll run our show interfaces command and see what the change is. Okay, let's go back up to that. And aggregated Ethernet interfaces are designated with an AE and then followed by a number. Uh, the device creates the, uh, the number of aggregated Ethernet interfaces that you specify and it begins with AE0. So in our case, because we told the switch to create only one interface, the switch created interface AE0 only. And once we actually define the AE0 interface in the configuration and associate active member links with AE0, the link state that's currently showing down will change to up. Okay, so next we need to configure the switch to associate certain physical interfaces with this AE0 interface that we just created. 
And we do this by setting the uh, 802.3 AD parameter under the Ether Options section of the physical interface. And for our demo, we will associate GE0012 and GE0013 with interface AE0. So again, from the top of the uh, configuration hierarchy, let's enter these commands. We'll do uh, GE0012 first. And that's Ether Options, 802.3 AD for AE0. Okay, so that takes care of 12. And let's do the same command for 13. Okay, so with those two commands, we've associated two physical interfaces with AE0. So finally, we have to configure the AE0 interface itself. And we'll also configure LACP under the uh, aggregated Ether Options hierarchy level. And again, LACP configuration is not mandatory. But if you do choose to run LACP, at least one side needs to be active for the link to come up. Okay, so to configure the AE0 interface, again, we're at the top of the hierarchy. So we will use set interfaces and we'll configure AE0. And we'll make it unit zero, family, ethernet switching. Okay, and then we'll also set up uh, LACP for this interface. And that's with uh, aggregated ethernet options and LACP and make sure we set active. Okay, so let's go ahead and commit all this and then we'll run our show interfaces command again. Okay, so let's move up to our show interfaces command. Run that again. Okay, so now you can see uh, from the output we've got two member links which are GE0012 and GE0013 which are part of the uh, aggregated Ethernet 0 interface and you can see our AE0 interface is now showing up because we've got both sides of the, uh, of the link, both switches configured. In fact, for that matter, we can go back to EX1 where originally our show interfaces command uh, showed us that the link was down because we didn't have the other side configured. So now that we have it configured, we can even run it again here and we'll get the same results. Our link is up. So we have success. Okay, so there we go. With just a handful of commands, we've created an aggregated Ethernet bundle with two constituent interfaces, GE0012 and GE0013. Uh, for more detailed information on aggregated Ethernet interfaces, there's a variety of documentation that can be found on the Juniper website, such as within the uh, Juniper Knowledge Base and uh, the Juniper Tech Pubs. And thank you for viewing this Learning Byte. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.